Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my BTEC from NIT Raul Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to prove this uh, given equation or statement with the help of mathematical induction. First, first I want to find out the nth term of this given uh, series. Okay, here the nth term is not given. It's just given that you know up to n terms. So my first duty is to find out that. <clears throat> if you observe, there is a pattern. One square. First term is one square. Second term is 1 square plus 2 square. The third term is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. What would be the fourth term? 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square. So I guess you could have guessed the nth term by now. The nth term is going to be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on up till n square. This is nothing but the sum of first n natural numbers and there is a formula which is nothing but n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6. Next, I'm going to take the given statement as p of n. Okay, Let p of n be the statement, this one. Okay, by now I know the n term, so instead of dot 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 up to n term, I wrote the n term here and then the RHS is as it is. Now, and the sum on the left side, I'm taking it as s of n. Okay, this sum I'm taking it as s of n. So, this is naturally equal to this right hand also, RHS also. Next, now basically mathematical induction, there are three parts. First, I need to show that the given statement is true for n equal to 1. I need to assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k, and I need to show that the given statement is true for n equal to k plus 1. <clears throat> now, first, if you'll observe this line, uh, I need, I'm showing that uh, the given statement is true for n equal to 1. How? S of 1 is nothing but you only need to consider the first term of this. Only need to consider the first term. <clears throat> that is 1 square. Okay. Done. Now next. Now 1 square, uh, it is there. Now this is nothing but equal to this. Uh, for that, uh, you know, you just need to put one, uh, 1 here also to check whether these two are equal. So in this statement, LHS would be 1 square. That's what is here. RHS, for, in RHS, you just put n as one, that's, what the, that's when you get RHS for this. 1 into 1 plus 1 whole square into 1 plus 2 by 12. Now let's see. 1 square is 1. That's fine. This would be nothing but 1 into 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 square is 4. 4 into 3 by 12. Which one? one uh, so basically 12 by 12 is 1. So 1 equal to 1. Therefore the formula is 2 for n equal to k. Okay. Now next. Assume that the given statement is 2 for n equal to k. As I told the second part of my proof. And k is greater than or equal to 1. Don't forget to mention it. Therefore, therefore, I'm just going to put n as k in the in this equation. Okay, in this equation, I'm going to just put n as k. Therefore, since that equation is true for n equal to k, I can just put k. And therefore, I can take it as s of k is equal to 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square and so on up till k into k plus 1 into k plus 1 by 6 is equal to k into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 by 12. If you remember, I took S of n as this. Okay, There's nothing but S of n is equal to this. The entire statement would reduce to like this. P of n would be nothing but S of n is equal to this. Uh, n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2 by 12. So basically S of k, which would be nothing. S of k would be nothing but equal to what you are seeing here. I just put n as k. Uh, k okay, that's it. Nothing much I did. Now what I need to do is now we have to show that the given, the given statement is true for n equal to k plus 1. Now, what does that mean? This basically means that I need to show that S of k plus 1 equal to this. Wondering how I got this, see, uh, at the top, uh, in the given question on the RHS, we have n into n plus 1 whole square into n plus 2 by 12, right? Now, in place of n, put k plus 1. In place of n, put k plus 1. So, here, if I'll put n as k plus, here, in place of n, if I'll put k plus 1, that's why I got here first bracket as k plus 1. Here, n plus 1 is a k plus 1 plus 1, which is nothing but k plus 2 whole square. And then k plus 2 would be nothing but k plus 2. Fine. And then by 12 is as it is. So this is what I need to prove. Now, by definition, by definition, S of k plus 1 is nothing but, S of k plus 1 is nothing but this. Because S of k is 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square and so on up till k into k plus 1 into 2 k plus 1 by 6, right? Now, S of k plus 1 means there will be k plus 1 terms. Now, what will be that k plus 1th term? You need to just add, just add, in place of k put k plus 1, in place of k put k plus 1. That would be my k plus 1th term. So here I put k plus 1 into, and in place of k, I again put k plus 1. Plus 1 is already there. 2 times k plus 1 plus 1. Fine. All clear. Now next. This is nothing but, if you'll observe, if you'll observe one more thing, 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square and so on up till this first k terms. What is this? This is nothing but s of k, right? The sum of first k terms is nothing but n s of k. That's why I wrote it as s of k up till here. Now, this would be nothing but k plus 1 into k plus 1 into 2k plus 2 plus 1. So, 2k plus 3. So, k plus 1 into k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 by 6. Let's go ahead. Now, we know that s of k is equal to this, right? s of k is k into k plus 1 whole square into k plus 2 by 12. I'm going to use it. 
that's what i'm going to substitute it here in place of s of k i'm going to put this since s of k is equal to this this is what i got now from here simplification starts stay alert and be with me okay in from these two terms if you love observe i can take k plus 1, one k plus 1 common and one k plus 2 common there is k plus 1 on square it basically means that k plus 1 into k plus 1 so basically if i'll take k plus 1 into k plus 2 common yeah, here i'd be left out with k into k plus 1 by 2 okay i took 6 uh, also common and then here i'd be left out with <coughs> 2k plus 3 I took six also common, so basically this twelve can be written as six into two. So if I take k and k plus one into k plus two by six as common, here I am left out with k and k and k plus one by two. Here I am left out with two k plus three. Now take LCM. This two will go here. Okay. Now next keep a uh, start multiplying k into k is k square k k into one is k four k plus two uh, into three is would be nothing but six. This is what I have. Just add it. Uh, 4k plus 4k is 6, so, that, so that's why I get sorry. K plus 4k is 5k, so that's what I get. K square plus 5k, 5k plus 6. Now next, I'm gonna factorize this. How means I'm going to write 5k as 2k plus 3k. So here I'm going to write in these two terms I'm gonna take uh, k common. In these two terms I'm gonna take 3 common. Now if you observe what would happen, so k into k plus 2 and 3 times k plus 2. Fine. <clears throat> Now, if you observe again, I'm going to take k plus two common. This is common. So k plus two fell k common. I'd be left out with k here and plus three here. So k plus three, k plus two into k plus. Three. Now just multiply the denominators and k plus one, k plus two into k plus two is going to be k plus two whole square. So this is what I have. Okay. So this is what we had to prove, right? Uh, basically, they had asked us to show that s of k plus one is this, and we are sure that therefore s of k plus one is equal to this. Now some final statements to conclude. Therefore, the formula holds for. n equal to k plus one. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, p of n is true for all n belongs to n. That is the formula. Given formula, can just write it is equal to this is true for all n belongs to n. Thank you very much for staying with me till here. Not just this question. I mean many more questions related to mathematical induction. I'll keep the link for the playlist in the description. Please do check it out. And if you like this video solution, please hit the like button. And if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please subscribe to it. Once again, I'm Akash. I completed my B Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher.